Hello, everyone. We're live at Epic Headquarters. My phones are not in airplane mode, so things may happen. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm here with Steve, Jim, and Chris. Chris Hype, we haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. You've been busy? It's been awesome. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've been, I've been very busy. Yeah. He's busy. Chris is very <laughs> averse to sitting in front of a camera. So yeah, uh, he doesn't yeah. He doesn't really care for I'm that shy. too much, but he does it for you guys because yeah. he knows how special I've been, I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been Crazy busy, crazy, crazy busy yeah. working on working on stuff, lots Everything, of stuff, all the things. And yeah. speaking of lots of stuff, we have a build that's out in the Yay. wild. Yes, so just uh, released it this morning. So everybody should go check it out. There's lots of new stuff. You look at the uh, list of changes; it's very long, and hopefully, <laughs> lots of things that uh, super long will be uh, will make a big difference to how fun the game is, and lots of bug fixes, lots of crash fixes, so lots of things that, you know, we want you guys to check it out, give us some feedback. Yeah. I'm supposed to have a blog post done, but uh, I don't. Um, well, I don't <laughs> have my part done, so yeah, it's not your fault. <laughs> but <yet. it's> it, <laughs> but we, will, we will have the blog post up so yeah. you guys can share it with your friends and everybody and let everybody know that there's a new build out there and for everybody to try it. Because we're going to be playing again this weekend, yep. or this Friday. So this Friday afternoon, 4 o'clock uh, Eastern, make sure you come join us and play. We're going to try to have some more people from the studio here. Uh, to come play with us, so make sure you jump in and play yeah. with us. Tell your friends that we'd love to have lots of people on. Um, we'd really like to start, uh, you know, kind of seeing, testing the limits of our uh, our hub. So uh, get people, you know, come I out. I was going to say scale. Yeah. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> test the limits. Uh, of our our, 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 yeah. our limits of skill have already been <laughs> quite uh, <laughs> very tested. tested. They're Matt's well, Matt's well back, determined, so. well established. Yes. So Matt's back. So we'll we'll probably all you know I'll have a, a hub going too, with all the the newbies. <laughs> 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 Because I get so owned on Friday, it's it's terrible. Um, what else do we have to talk about? Oh, speaking of, tell your friends. Tell your friends we need some help making this game. There's a there's a lot of things that need done. Um, we're, we're getting some music in, yeah. right? Yeah, we got a couple music tracks in. That'll be on the new build. Uh, we have character heads coming along. Mm -hmm. We have alt skins, cosmetic mm -hmm. items. We have so we got all weapons. kinds of weapons. Yeah. So that's all that stuff. Effects. Weapons, sounds, effects. effects yeah. yeah. All that. Yeah. All from Levels. The stuff yeah. Yeah. And we still need more help, so come help us and yep. do things. Yep. Uh, is there anything really special that we're looking for right now? I know you're you're away at next week, and I think yeah, Sid's I think out. The, the main thing that we're looking for now is uh, to fill out our teams. So characters yeah. really is characters. Is characters and weapons uh, yeah. are, the, are the two kind of main community yeah. needs right now. Yeah. I mean, we'd also love to see I mean, people starting to mesh their levels as they get them really polished from a playability point of view. Um, I mean, I know right now we only have one set of uh, one mesh set, but hopefully in the not too distant future we'll have another environment set for yes. people to, mm -hmm. to work with. And at that point, you know, we hope that uh, pe it really takes off that people really start meshing. There's also um, guys in the community uh, like, uh, like Captain Migraine that have yeah, been creating their own mesh sets and doing a you know, fantastic Who's job. I mean, Dan Leah is all... He's playing UT uh, this past week. Nice. Yeah. Is <laughs> all, is he's all back. Meshes, so. he got a, actually, he, he, was, he sent me an email. He said he got a lot of great advice, uh, so he might make some changes to cool. Leah. He's also working on a new map that he yeah. just started meshing. Um, Go, Neil. We're actually been surprised, though, that we see a lot of gameplay shells, but we haven't really seen anything yeah. taken to completion. Uh, so there's meshes out there. You can use them. Yeah. Uh, Give it a give it a whirl. See what right. you can do. And I mean, there's some guys doing it. There's like there's a handful of yeah. levels that are that are starting to look. Yeah, they're really just good. starting yeah. to get there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So there, there, is, there may be one of those uh, kitchen maps out there right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know. <laughs> Chris was always. It was cool to see. Yeah, <laughs> like every once in a while, I pop on the forums and there's there's some good looking stuff coming. Yeah. you mm -hmm. know, com kind of coming up. Yeah. So we were um, hosting some of the different streamers this week on on Unreal Tournament, and we were hosting Neil for a while, and he was playing from QuakeCon. And while he was playing, and while I was watching on, I think, I think it was it was over the weekend. Somebody comes over his shoulder and goes, "Are you playing UT? Is that new?" <laughs> and I was like, oh, "He's <laughs> like, yeah, it's new UT. Go download it." And the guy go went went over to the laptop <laughs> to download it. So it, was cool. it was really cool. So it was it was fun to to watch yeah. you. If you guys are streaming and um, you're streaming a lot. Just let us know. Let me know. You can tell Zacubus, or you can tell me, and m maybe we'll host you for a little bit on the annual tournament. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Chris Perna. Hey. Speaking of characters that we need, we can take a look at some. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of characters, we have Chris. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> I'm not sure well, where you're going with that, that Stacey. Come out exactly. <laughs> there, uh, <laughs> Goob has been working on some stuff in the background, <laughs> which is which is really coming coming along nicely. Um, 
there's, I can tease this a little bit, there's some bot stuff that he's been working on, but yes. what we're going to show mm. today is, uh, is, not that. is Thunder Crash, some of the Thunder Crash designs that he's come up with. And the hope is that we've released now, right, the high poly models of yep. Malcolm mm -hmm. and the Necris. And they're available on the marketplace, so it's really easy to right. get them. Right, so that's, that's out there. We've also released the characters, the in-game characters, so you guys have uh, poly counts and triangle counts and specs and and you know you kind of get our process. Mm -hmm. uh, I think P Hayes is out there. Yeah, well, well, as well. A, a key point in that is every time we bring this up, people say we don't have the low poly, we don't know the specs. If you pull up the editor, you can export them and get all that stuff. Yes, can, there's a window in yes. there where you can click on them and it shows you, you all the stats. So yeah, all of that is out there to you. You just didn't know it was there. So yeah, you can you can call up. You can double click on the character window and it calls up. Um, the mesh viewer mm -hmm. window, I guess, and then yeah. you can. It'll tell you the tri triangle counts. It'll tell you. You can even look at the UVs and how those are laid out in there. Yeah. You can take screenshots of them, paint on top of them. Um, Get all the skins. See how we you the can materials. export to FBX yeah. the skeletal mesh, um, and then re-import into uh, Max or whatever whatever you want to use, um, and and start to mess around with stuff like that. So yeah. there's not really an excuse. Um, you just yeah. just go to it. And yeah. Pete Hayes is an excellent resource. Um, you guys, some of you guys use him for weapon designs and, and weapon modeling and stuff like that, but he's great. One of the sticking points for a lot of community guys is, is they aren't professionals and it's hard for them to take the last 10% to get the model into the game. Yeah. And Pete is an excellent resource for that. And um, so please, Use Pete. No. Yeah. <laughs> Pete Hayes. <laughs> you know Pete what's, Hayes. What's right? really funny uh, is when he first started, he's like, I don't, I don't know if I, you know, talk on the forums. Yeah. And I got, like yeah, yeah. you know, so much work to do. And now it's like yeah. they, they're like, but he loves it. He's great. Yeah. He loves them. Yeah, 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 yeah. He loves it. Too. I mean, we all love it. It's just, it's some of us are, uh, and Pete's a busy guy too. Yeah. yeah. But um, some of us can don't spend as much time on the forums yeah. as we should. Well, <laughs> so no, well, <laughs> well and the other thing is, Pete's on there, and he's, so he's a reliable yeah, resource. Yeah, I mean so and the other thing is, yeah. don't be afraid to ask, right? right. I, I've had a lot of people that got, st like with the cosmetic items, people just got stuck and didn't know what to do. Right. And so by letting us know where you got stuck, we were able to walk you through the rest yeah. of that process, whether it was finishing up skins, finishing up blueprints, whatever piece of it is that, that you're getting stuck on, let us know, and we can Absolutely. walk you through yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if somebody wants to you know, take one of the, the Necros characters that are out there and, and kind of mess with the skin a little bit? So they can just That's bring the kids. easy. Even I can do that. Right. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, like I said, all of that is in there. Um, all the materials are in there. It's all set up. For the materials and stuff, it's really easy. It's just a matter of adjusting sliders and, and numbers, yeah. um, maybe replacing a texture. I think it's a mask. I there. think there's a mask in there that you have to do. You have to have some technical knowledge, but yeah. it's not It's not rocket it's science. Yeah, it's and uh, ask. If you, if you don't know how to do something, just ask. Yeah. Um, I mean, the way, the way that our characters are set up now, it's, it's not like you need to go in and paint a skin as much as you need to understand the mask and say, right. this is cloth. I can replace all the cloth at once. Right. You know, this is skin, I can replace all the skin. And if you can't do that, take a screenshot and and one of the other things is is to paint on it. Do it do a pic do your own picture. What do you think the Necris markings on their face should look like, right? Yeah. And do paint overs and things like that. Post those on the forums because that's always valuable concept art for other people mm -hmm. that, you know, um, and and it gets your ideas across and it gets your ideas out there. Uh, the funny thing is, is we great. have other guys too, like uh, the guy who's working on the he has two alternate Necros heads, and he was he was he was great in modeling them. Mm -hmm. But he's like, I have no idea what to do about the skins, and so he just started making up patterns and bringing it to the community. And people were doing that; they were painting over sure, and stuff. Sure. Um, and so he's funny. He's like the technical side, but not as much the artistic right, side. So right, right. find people, right? The community should work together. Yeah, to absolutely. Things. That's awesome. So yeah, so, so we Goob have has something been to look at. Yeah, so Goob has been cranking on some Thundercrash designs and. Uh, these are, I think these are pretty cool. There's, uh, the, the guy that's in there now is not really supposed to be Marcus, right? That he's just Malcolm. a generic, uh, Malcolm, I'm sorry, Malcolm. Marcus. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> uh, it was an M, M name. Uh, anyway. That was our fault for doing that. So he's just kind of meant to be a generic kind of Thundercrash character. Yeah. Um, so these guys, Gooba's got names on them and, and s some of them pick up from the traditional names yeah. and, and stuff like that. Um, they may or may not be those guys, but the concepts are there. Um, it's a mercenary uh, faction. Uh, they're military, uh, mm -hmm. right? I mean, they're yeah. they're they're military or ex-military, and and uh, 
the green is their color and they're geared up for battle so kind of remind me a little bit too of, of uh, Jacob there we go yeah yeah and yeah. an older version some of these guys you know I, I picture the 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 crew on some of the alien movies and stuff like these these mercenaries yeah. and, yes. and Riddick and you know those those type of things where yeah I love that Riker got character I yeah he's so cool right. he's, he's got a lot of character just in his stance you know yeah um, I like I like I like the uh, the the green armor because it's 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 very Malcolmish. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, it's Malcolmish. The dreads should be if you you know we've got dreads on a scar on a uh, scar guy, a yeah. scar character, right? And then yeah. we're gonna it's have okay, to figure out. Yeah, I saw yeah, the yeah. panic in your eyes. <laughs> I know, I was I was about this? Yeah. But yeah, so uh, <laughs> it should be just a, a, a small baby step to get dreads on on some of these characters as well, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, these are these are so awesome. So yeah, I think Gooba hit these out of the park. Yeah. I, I uh, well, think, he uh, usually uh, does. He's, yeah. he's pretty, I know. He's pretty yeah, crazy. He's, he's really good. Are these are these on the forms for people to? They're not on yet. Okay. No, but we can take them and put them on there. And the hope is that you guys can take these designs, take what we've uploaded, the high poly, the low poly, and that saves you a lot of time, yeah. and kind of kit bash some of this stuff together, or or you know model them from scratch, whatever it is, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think that it, I think that'd be great. I'd love to see some of those characters come online. That'd be fantastic. Yes, yeah. so would I. So, so, so would I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think the cool thing also, Gooba's concepts give kind of a, a a visual guide to what these characters look like. But if you have some variation that fits into that, mm -hmm. I mean, that's yes, also absolutely, yeah. And, and yeah. I mean, I, yeah, it's really cool. Like you said, it feels like like that's a group of guys that would go together in a movie, right? I mean, right. it's a it's not a bunch of guys that all look alike or whatever, and 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 so kind of. Following that, like he's kind of yeah. set out the P yeah. people were the getting very identity. nervous that we yeah. were going to do like the same character with ten different heads. That would be a team. Yeah. Right. But I think that really shows you. Yeah. I think it's they important. all fit within the same yeah. theme. They all fit within absolutely. the same look. Absolutely. And but I, and but I, I think yeah, I think it's important that they each have their own character, mm -hmm. and and that's something that I think Gooba's a lot of Gooba's mm -hmm. concepts portray. Mm -hmm. You know, they've they've each got a little bit of sti slightly stylistic character to them, mm -hmm. that that um, makes them individual. Yeah, I mean, like those guys are obviously they're a play off each other, right? Yeah, but they each look unique and they're very different from yes. the guy who's in there, and they're very yes. different from the Riker concept and all that stuff. Anyway. I love I love the armor. I think yes. the ar the armor is so cool. The green the green armor it looks kind of military, mm. but it also looks futuristic because you have the well, it's Thundercrash. And it's Thundercrash. Right, and it's not <laughs> heavy football armor, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like it can be it's it's utilitarian, right? It's it's what they would actually wear yeah. if they were going into an arena shooter or or in a yeah. combat zone, right? I mean, it's not yeah not far fetched. I'm really looking forward to seeing these in the forum so people can start talking about them and yeah, arguing me too. about them. <laughs> 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 Are they arguing yet? I think probably. I don't know. I'm trying to watch the chat feed and see what people are saying. Yeah, I can tell you because Chris will sit there and he'll speak out of the corner of his eye and look up at the, <laughs> at the chat. <laughs> and you'll see my face turning red. <laughs> 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 well, sorry, I laughed too loud. Yeah. Okay, well there you go, guys. We will we will put these images in the forum and you guys can discuss them and and hopefully make them. Ha hopefully yeah. make them because especially that Riker guy, man, I would really like. Yeah, that, that guy's cool. I, yeah. I really like that one. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think uh, Marlo's favorite was Genghis. And he's cool too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah he's yeah. really. Somebody's cool. asking if there are any female concepts. We don't have any female for the Thunder Crash, but there is the Necrist female. female. Yes. yes. Yeah. What is other. and that is amazing. Yeah, yeah, she looks. She looks. Great. She's in the forms, right? Yeah. Her. Her. Yeah. yeah. Not. Yeah. Not her concepts, though, right? No, yeah. her concept is well. I don't know. No. I don't know if they are or not. Not the one, not the uh, not the shots it's like that. I are oh, her her original concept is yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm yeah. talking about the. No, no, oh, the that's, 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 that's the community. I'm talking about that's the really one. Stuff. We have some. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I want this one in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Abner did start building this. He did start yeah. building it. So yeah. right now it doesn't. As of yet, it doesn't quite match the style that we have put out for the necklace, which right. is fine. Yeah. Um, it's still a cool character. It's still a cool character. It's still a cool character. Yeah. I would love to see if he can take that and make it fit on that team. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or it could be the start of a different team. I mean, we're, yes. not, trying, I mean, we're not trying to, to pigeonhole people. I think if you do something that's cool enough, I mean, it just has to fit with the overall sure. visual look of, the, yep. game, of yeah. the game. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. It's just attitude. Which yeah. essentially is, is proportional, right? I mean, yeah. just mm -hmm. keep them realistic proportioned. And yeah. I think our guys are like seven, seven and a half heads high, something like that. And uh, yeah. that's, that's the main battle right there. We don't want stylized necessary overly right. stylized characters yeah. running around yet someday yeah. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, we, we definitely are going to have girls in the game soon. Absolutely, yes. yeah. If not, they're going to have to suffer my wrath. <laughs> <laughs> and, and characters that traditionally didn't have females, we should be contact concepting females for, like like a female Scar character, for yeah. example, right? That's um, a great that idea. And, and I've you know, there's, yeah. there's a little bit of secret sauce on that going on in the background, too, <laughs> <laughs> that, that someday maybe we'll reveal. But um, it, it's, it's all very interesting stuff yeah. and exciting. All right, are we ready to take some community questions? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I like the questions this week, actually. I feel like I've got good <laughs> answers for most of them. So. <laughs> Steve like came prepared. <laughs> yeah, he looked Even though I didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't pre, uh, pre judge sort them or anything. Just no, like I, just, I just yeah. went in order of the, you know, and just grabbed the ones yeah. that, you know, starting from where we finished the last time. So Grammy said, would it be possible for a sort of a, a button mark during the game so I can find the mark when he's doing his replays? So yes, <laughs> and <laughs> so unfortunately that that feature didn't quite make it into this build, but should oh I expect be in the next build? But we already have a bookmark system now, an, an automatic annotation system for replays that annotates kill events, flag captures, returns, and everything, and has a nice little. And the, there's a UI in it when you're watching a replay where you can drop down and 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 display different sets of uh, bookmarks. And then we're going to add on top of that the ability for players to add their own bookmarks Manually, to the yeah. to the game. Um, but we've already got some automatically generated bookmarks, which should help a lot with that, and we'll definitely have the feature of awesome. you being able to create your own. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next build. Okay, that's all. Okay, bye. Uh, Cebu was kind of cute here. Uh, <laughs> could you please tell us, <laughs> be more specific about the current ranking system? Which modes give you the most? It feels like you have to do some duels before you get a higher rank. So that was definitely true at one point. I believe... I mostly fixed that in the last build. It may still not be perfect, but basically now there is a composite ranking that um, that weights games. But once you're in a match or if you're in a lobby for a specific game type, it'll give you your ranking just for that game type if you've played enough matches of that game type to establish a ranking for that game type. So if you're a CTF player or a TDM player and you just play that, you will establish a ranking for just that game type and you don't have to worry about what else? The composite ranking is still something that we need to improve on, and we definitely want to make sure that um, whenever possible we show your, your ranking for a specific game type, that it's easy to find out, you know, like look at a player's player card and see their rankings for different mm -hmm. um, for game types. And so, so yeah, so I, I think you're basically pointed out something that was a known issue that I think we've already partly addressed. Uh, we've got some more work to do to fully address it and definitely are interested in feedback. We also know that our ra rankings in general didn't feel like we were... Um, doing a good job of differentiating. We I also made some adjustments this time to the um, the badge, the ELO level versus badges, so oh that nice. we'll have a little bit more differentiation. So uh, we'll see how that um, turns out in the next build. So uh, give, give us, us feedback, and we'll feedback. also be watching, and we'll continue working on making that. Because, I mean, the, the, the idea is that it's a, it's a valid, for the game you're going into, what rating you have. I mean, I, it'd be, you know, actually, for, for stuff like Duel, actually, you and even for TDM, I mean, I think you probably even, you know, if you're really wanting to be specific, is you actually have a ranking for each map. Like, this guy's yeah. a really good deck player. Right? He's a <laughs> gold nine on deck, and he's a silver five on some other map. Yeah. Because he just, be very cool. he's been playing deck for 15 years and <laughs> <laughs> played blindfolded. I can't imagine what that would be like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's see. Next. Next is, <laughs> do you just want the game to have even more spam, or were you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> by setting a 6 v 6 <laughs> as a TDM standard. <laughs> so I think the answer to that we is yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so one th I think the thing to understand right now are those settings are not um, recommended levels. Those are maximums. And the also those, game, those sets of game settings are not designed for competitive play. They're designed for pubs. So what we're saying is we will allow up to 6 v 6 in a pub game. Um, but definitely we see 5v5 as being our goal. And I know that a lot of our maps are relatively small and may not be ideal for 5v5, but that's definitely our, our what we see as the actual competitive number for TDM. And when we have, and we haven't yet made a TDM set of game settings because we haven't got all that stuff quite figured out. We don't have all the fi functionality we want to support that yet. But um, when we have a competitive TDM setting, it will be 5v5. So for competitive. Yeah. So, other than our drinking problem, I think. <laughs> <we're> <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. And eventually, I would like to see that 
I mean, it, it bears a lot of discussion, but I would like to see that carry across as well, so that all of our game types become consistent. Yeah. Where it's well, I'm thinking know, back though to teams of five, like essentially, um, the, to like the old huge sniper maps and big, uh, you know, onslaught maps yeah. where there were, you know, sixteen versus yeah. sixteen. Yeah, well, you go sixteen versus sixteen. It can be fun and it's yeah. a good release, and we still allow that in custom servers. But in just the standard yeah. settings, yep. we, well want we, we want to establish some consistency yeah. so that and you know what you're idea. getting yourself. And we've also started loving to solve that with the like the big CTF yeah. uh, game settings, so that we differentiate between you want to play with more people than maps are really meant for versus playing with. And, and yeah, and so it's not, and that's not to say that we'll never decide that for our standard non-competitive settings that we don't want to limit to five v five. We're just trying this out right now, and we'll see where that goes. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of people in non-competitive pub matches like to have a little bit more player density. Like so more targets. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> twelve versus twelve and action. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> One big room of right. mess. <laughs> Unload the flat cannon into a room and get a multi kill. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see. Fubar wants to know <laughs> why is DM Lea gone in the hubs? That was that a was bug. A bug. It is fixed oh. in the new build. <laughs> If it's not, tell us, but we're pretty sure it is. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be Zach's fault because he told me it was fixed. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be Zach's fault Everything. by way of Joe. <laughs> yes. It's going to be Zach's fault if anything is broken. Yes. yes. Let him know. Sorry, Zach. Uh, Shock D wants to know, when can we set the brightness, gamma, and contrast for the game? Um, hopefully soon, so that there's that's a task on our list. I mean, actually, there's more than just that, that we want to give people the ability to individually have you know, a number of graphic settings that they can individually tweak beyond just the low, medium, high things we have now. Um, unfortunately, there's a, it's, 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 it hasn't happened yet because it's slightly tricky because we want to make sure there's this whole hierarchy of, okay, your basic setting is medium, but then you have this, and there's different systems that compete to kind of control that setting, and so making sure we, we have a clean way of, of supporting that that we can save and that it won't get blown out by the editor or whatever is mm -hmm. is that I mean those are not reasons that we can't do it it's just that that's why it's not a, such a straightforward thing that we've already done it but it's definitely on our list um, I think it'll happen in the next month but awesome. we have a lot of things that we hope to have yeah, done in the next month so that's <laughs> 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 okay we keep saying a lot of things yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes <laughs> Uh, Jay uh, asked this question, and I understand this because I, I, I play uh, on French and Dutch servers pr pretty much every weekend. So the netcode so far has been the best netcode I've seen since in the UT game to, p to point. Once you get over 100 latency, the netcode seems to fall apart. What plans, projects are being worked on for the netcode, and could we see a client-side hit detection? I like how he kind of butters. Butters yes. you up <laughs> for the thing. It's got to be so sweet. <laughs> um, there's still a lot of, no. I mean, still very much a work in progress. Um, I mean, for to me, it seems like it's over 150. Yeah. Once it's a, uh, uh, well, it's okay. So we have um, full prediction up to 160 milliseconds of ping. So that should be a uh, that should be the yes. point where it starts. You start seriously seeing more latency, and that's just a trade-off. We're trying to balance the experience of players with a high ping versus the experience of players who have a low ping and are playing against players with a high ping. We don't want to. If you you, you can only provide so much ping compensation without. Um, affecting the other players in the game, not basically yeah. having a good experience yeah. because you're getting too much compensation. Um, we also are a little bit different, like with the client side hit detection. So we are doing some, we basically try to uh, basically server authoritative, but in your clock um, hits, which is not perfect, but it's better and it's also um, a more fair experience. And it's also more balanced between hit scan and projectile. So true client side hit detection, first of all, is very cheatable. Secondly, can give an advantage to people with high pings in some situations, which we definitely don't want to do. At the same time, we'd prefer not to disadvantage mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And also imbalances the uh, usefulness of um, projectile versus hit scan weapons. So we're trying to balance all that out. We still have, I still have probably 10 things on my list of how to improve um, the hit detection at higher pings. Um, and I'm slowly going to work through it. But the problem is with that is it's just, it's, Making those changes is slow because it requires a lot of testing under lots of different conditions. Even then, I usually have to put, the first time I put out in a build, people come back with, with uh, from the community with issues. It's one of the great things about uh, having an open game is that a lot of these networking issues are things that are very difficult to find, I mean, even when we yeah. simulate latency and packet loss inside our yeah, own network. So um, it's great having the feedback from, got from people, and that's really helping us make the networking better, but it just takes time. and. Um, UT is a game that has this very fast pace, so people are moving really fast, and so uh, any flaws in how you do hit detection are more visible 
than in a slower paced game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. Okay, any any S seven ten? I think I think hey, he's actually in here, yeah. but his name's Packet Loss now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> NES710 said, uh, can we adjust the size of crosshair, uh, the crosshair independently? Also, um. if you aim up, uh, I'll do that one first. So crosshair scaling, uh, so actually, one, uh, one feature that just missed the build that uh, Tim Ed did was a per weapon custom crosshairs, where you can, you can basically now customize your crosshair to different, um, you can have a standard crosshair that you use across all weapons and you can customize that or you can customize your your crosshair individually per weapon and you can also colorize them. So <laughs> I think that that will mostly solve your problem. So we don't have scaling there now, but I'd rather have the crosshairs authored at the size that they're going to display at at, at um, native resolutions so that um, they look as good as possible. And But it should be easy for us to have variants so that you can have larger and smaller variants if you really care about having that change. So we'll we'll figure out how to solve that the best way to solve that problem for you. But I think already what we've got coming in the next build uh, will be a big improvement for you, and I'll be interested in feedback on what what else people are looking for. Okay. Well, that actually answers all the rest of the questions too, because I can now <laughs> post when you look at the sky, you can't see. Yes. Although um, Pete had added to the standard cross here a little black outline so that it would um, show up against uh, white surfaces. White so surface. I think with the more recent build, that actually works a lot better than, okay. it, than it did um, before. Um, and we're going to do that to all. That we haven't done from yeah. several builds ago, though. So I think it's um, the build, the build before this one. So just one okay. build. So just three weeks ago that we had. Yeah, I forget out. we're always a little bit ahead. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. And some of these questions are starting to get older now. Yeah. Uh, put the thread up a while ago. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Cola, uh, how is the mesh process for CTF outside going? Would love to see some new teasers of it anytime soon. It's going fantastic. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's, it's going. It's, it's uh, going. maybe it's sixty percent complete. <sighs> yeah, it, it's a lot of work. We have two artists working on it. Leandri was me and two artists. I'm not on uh, CTF outside. Yeah. Uh, so you've got Rick Kohler and Josh Marlowe, and we have some. What we're trying to do is is twofold. They're trying to mesh the map and make it look as good as Leandri. Yeah. We're trying to create a different set. It's it's a castle set. It's very different. Okay, so yeah. it's very different from Leandri. And it will it will give you guys a whole nother environment set to play with. So that's that's an, another important step to think about because while we've got we had some great overview concepts from Gooba of what castles look like and what the map as an as an overview should look like, yeah. these guys have no idea what doorways look like and what what windows look like, what mm -hmm. doors look like, what the ground looks like, what this looks like, that looks like. They just had an overview. So they're designing. They're creating the mesh set, they're meshing the map, and they're dealing with all the technical hurdles like lighting and post-process and, and, and bloom and things like that. So mm. generally two to three months to do something like that. Um, if we had a team of artists, uh, if, you ha if you had the mesh set, if I was a guy, you know, me, and I'm familiar with Unreal, um, maybe a couple weeks to actually mesh the map, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, for, like for once someone you have all the pieces. Right, once you have all the pieces, it's just playing with the Legos and, and it may be a couple weeks. But um, that's why it takes yeah. so long to do these introductory maps um, yeah. is because they're, they're doing all that stuff. They're designing and meshing and creating the actual assets. Yeah. Um, like it Chris okay. said, it's coming along great. Um, yes. In terms of visual teasers, I... We're we're figuring that out. I mean, we want to first of all, we both. Wish we could show them the picture that, that Rick sent out today of the map. That was a good <laughs> <Yes>. one. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but we'll probably I would say it's it's not too far away that we'll start showing off a little side, bit. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Disney princesses or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Disney Princess my little pony castle. castle or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> After finishing all the weapons, what plans will the team have? Pick up some more help for the assets for maps. Actually, we could all use it. I was going to say, like, th there's <laughs> yeah. no reason to wait. Like, yeah. if, if you're interested in doing any of those things, go for it. Yeah. Yep. We would Please. love to see them. Please. Um, yeah, I mean, it, the, the, the caveat, of course, is that, yeah, we, we are a small team, and so our attention is limited in terms of what's getting into the game. But, yeah, we would love to see people experimenting with that stuff, concepting it, making, you know, prototypes. There are, there's a lot of concepts in there already for you know, weapon bases, health packs, things like yeah. that. Yeah, I love but like Steve said, we just packs. haven't had time to wrap our heads around it yet. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But that shouldn't stop you from starting the concept process, from building just to experiment, see yep. what's out there. And if enough steam gets going in the community where like everybody's, hey, here's a collection of pickups and we all mm -hmm. like it, then we can just dump it all in and go. 
Yeah. I want to see the little purple vials again. I like those. <laughs> oh, little vials? Yeah, I do miss the vials. Have you considered uh, meshing Deck 16 or Facing Worlds? Both very popular maps and older UT titles, and Facing Worlds mm. could be easier <laughs> to art up. <laughs> easier? That's really you know, good Chris, idea. have we considered meshing Face? We've considered Why meshing them all. We need, we, yeah, we need the, uh, yeah. we need the assets, right? I mean, yeah. that's that's the biggest hurdle yeah. is is having the Lego bits yeah. to mesh with. So um, once once we have the the castle and and since we have the, you know outpost those meshes we can start using them mixing them together a little bit more get a different yeah I mean I, I traditionally I was hoping to see more um, more experimentation by the community uh, what would Leandri look like with metal shaders on all of the pipes and all of yeah. the mm -hmm. the assets yeah. right yeah. you can play with materials right materials yeah. will give you a whole another set yeah. we used to call it uh, set dressing to take up a, a term for the movies we we could yeah. use in gear of war we did this a lot we, we took the same exact assets we colorized them differently we put different textures on them and they be and we made a whole new set yeah. yeah with with those assets right and I'd love to see somebody take Leandri and do that it doesn't have to be white yeah. paint mm -hmm. it can be metal it can be reflective yeah. chrome be some people are doing that but yeah. but mm -hmm. not to the yeah. extent that I thought it, it would be you know yeah. you could take that I, I guarantee I could take Leandri and make it a, a heavy industrial set just by putting grime and rust yeah. and, and adding some brick textures yeah. to the, yeah. pretty yeah. easily. You know. Or even without or the brick urban. textures, like for something like Deck 16, which is kind of a metallic, I mean, I, I think you could yes. mess that yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I want to do this cool concept yep. look, look like yeah. that. So I, I'd love to cool. see more of that stuff. Otherwise, we, we'll just have to wait till we build up more assets yeah. and more Legos, you know. And then yeah. we can do it. Um, uh, what features are you hoping to impl implement into the game at some point? Matchmaking, inventories, et cetera. Oh, there's so many things. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's lots of things. Um, so we are going to have, um, we're, we've got a lot of ideas for how to get match people together, and we're you know, continuing to, to, to work on implementing those. Um, I mean, that's obviously really important for an online game. Uh, we will have some kind of, with some persistent inventory um, where there's, you know, things that you can, you know, like you can earn or win or or whatever like you know helmets and things like that that become part of your persistent inventory mm -hmm. that you can you can keep um, that all that stuff is going to be there, there there's some of that stuff is already planned and in in, in early development in work, some of that work. stuff is still off in the future but um, definitely our focus right now is on starting to work on those kinds of systems and making the game um, more sticky and have you know more of a of a, a progression to the game um, and not to not to I mean the core of the game still stays you know pure uh, pure combat but just uh, kind of giving people some some uh, feedback for their progress. Um. A reward for time investment. Yeah. Essentially, that's what it is. Yeah. Double XP we get. Oh wait. <laughs> 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 we could sure. Yeah, just have to make that XP mean something. I, I I always like to have those weekends because you you don't feel like you ever have enough time to play. But then when you have a, a reward, mm. when they give you, you double of anything, yeah. it's <laughs> like, okay, I'm not going to clean this weekend. I'm just going to play this game <laughs> and get this XP and, and get this gun yeah. I want to unlock or this Stacey's helmet I want. Stacey's dirty little secrets now. <laughs> yes. <into> the world. <laughs> it's not cleaning this weekend. No, I'm not cleaning because I can get some Come play some with us on Friday. You'll make her house dirty. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah, please please come play Friday. Um, we we love when you guys show up in the one week we had so many people oh God, yeah. the hubs were, were so filled and it was so much fun and so we want to do that again and we want to bring more people in from from the studio here bring your friends tell them to stop by and play and come kick my butt stuff. <laughs> yeah. come laugh at me <laughs> shell do we know what's going to be on the uh engine stream tomorrow some VR stuff. VR stuff. Cool. VR stuff might happen. It's yeah. all about VR stuff right now. Yeah. The problem is you can't really do VR justice on a on a Twitch stream right now. Ch when are they going to have chance? We'll talk we're to on screen virtually. When are Does they going to have count? VR Twitch streaming where you're like in the room <laughs> with us? That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could sit right Sitting here with next us. To me. Yeah. What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Shelly. We try to crazy. She just puts monkeys up. She can't deal with real people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Chance is going to be back tomorrow. So he'll be back. So yeah. come and come and troll him and tell him congratulations for his new baby Archer. So He's been in and out a few times. Yeah. So okay, everyone. We'll see you next week. Thank Thanks. you. See ya. Come play with us Friday.